the forces shaping this world at this moment are so strong and they all tend in one direction. The secret organizations of the world power elite are no longer secret. Now we can see a new world coming into view. A world in which there is a very real prospect of a new world order. What I believe is our destiny of success in this new world order. So I've told people that if you're interested in avoiding World War III, it seems like you ought to be interested in preventing them from having the knowledge necessary to make a nuclear weapon. The day of the dictator is over. The most important distinction in this campaign is that I represent real hope for change. I want to bring that change to the American people, but we must all decide first we have the courage to change for hope and a better tomorrow. I, I think what we need to do is convince people who live in the lands they live in to build the nations. Maybe I'm missing something here. I mean, we're going to have kind of a nation-building core from America? Absolutely not. Our military is meant to fight and win war. That's what it's meant to do. And when it gets overextended, morale drops. But I'm going to be judicious as to how to use the military. It needs to be in our vital interest, the mission needs to be clear, and the exit strategy obvious. The choice is between the right change and the wrong change, between going forward and going backward. My faith in the American people has been vindicated because they are ready for change. We still seek no wider war. The United States does not start fights. America does not seek conflict. I don't like to use military force. Our nation enters this conflict reluctantly. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order. My fellow citizens, last night I ordered U.S. military forces to Panama. No president takes such action lightly. This morning, I want to tell you what I did and why I did it. For nearly two years, the United States, nations of Latin America and the Caribbean, have worked together to resolve the crisis in Panama. The goals of the United States have been to safeguard the lives of Americans, to defend democracy in Panama, to combat drug trafficking, and to protect the integrity of the Panama Canal Treaty. Just two hours ago, 